Airport officials are advising travelers to allow extra time and expect delays. Drivers in the area should also expect more traffic for about three weeks. <laughs> this is how Fahad Faruqi will be spending the next two hours or so, waiting for his flight to Seattle. He has been traveling for almost two days so from Pakistan. Yeah, nice you see what, <laughs> how I'm dealing with these, like, just taking rest because, like, so waiting for my flight so I can go home and sleep <laughs> and wake up in the morning. He received these text messages about delays from United Airlines, alerting him that runway construction is reducing the number of planes the FAA will allow to land at SFO. Today is the first day SFO will close one runway for a 20-day reconstruction project. Crews will be removing surface paving so they can install a new base layer. SFO says up to 600 construction truck deliveries are expected during peak times, which may close some lanes to drivers near the airport. We flew from Los Angeles and um, I think we got told, oh, it's when we were just about to board that they said there was a delay. Luckily, Esther Lord's delay won't cause her to miss her flight home to New Zealand. We're due back at work on Tuesday, so if we didn't get this flight, that would um, sort of yeah, change those plans. I don't think our bosses would be too happy. SFO says the closure is expected to affect about 26 flights a day. Airlines, including United, are voluntarily reducing their flight schedules, cutting total flights at SFO by 14 percent. United Airlines is going a step further, issuing customers travel waivers during this construction period, allowing them to change their flights or connect through a different airport. The runway is expected to reopen Friday, September 27th. At SFO, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.